Welcome back to Feed the Beast, guys, and on the last episode, uh, we got, me and Desmo, got chucked into this whole new world, and I, we both split off, and I went off exploring and found this place, which is extremely run down, completely overgrown with various varieties of moss and ectoplasm for some reason, there's also beehives. Gonna want to wait until I get a scoop to <laughs> do that. But, yeah, this looks like a relatively good place to settle down. I'm definitely not moving in here straight away, but... Hey, it's a nice place. And, yeah. And as for that house, all I have to do is rehab it a little bit, and, and I can call it my own home. Because if you look at the waypoint, turn this waypoint on, it says house active, right in the middle of it. So, I guess that's hinting that that is destined to become my new house? I mean, I definitely... From what I can tell, it probably looked good in its prime. I mean, we got the redwood, which is my favorite. That's a different type of redwood than what I'm used to, also. Just noticed that. And, uh, it looks like there were pillars that had fallen over, and then the overgrowth. My god, the overgrowth. And fur planks. That's also a different kind of fur than I'm used to. Huh. I definitely don't think we're playing with bombs of plenty anymore. Anyway, the sun is going down, and I need a different settlement. And also, what is what are those trees? Uh, the wood looks kind of similar to what's right here, but I I do not have space in my inventory. Also, blueberries. Those look like blueberries. And uh, well, that's a bit of a dip. I don't. Hmm. Should I make a freestanding structure, or should I? That's a wasteland. It looks like. And there's a wall. Oh boy, I probably don't want to settle near that. Okay, I guess I'm just going to cave in here for the time being. Ah. Uh. Oh. I already feel that a skeleton is after me. Oh gosh. Oh my... Frickin' cathedral... Okay, screw it. Okay, okay. Let's... Let's try this. I'm going to try to make a shovel. And I'm going to pray... And that lets me actually harvest dirt without them frickin' spawning all the flippin' time. That'll seem to work. Anyway, I'm just gonna hollow out this area. Andesite. Andesite. Okay. Okay, just put a torch down here, and I need to make a chest. I am desperately out of inventory space. Alright. Alright, I make a chest, put it right there. Uh, I'm completely exposed to the outside world, and I need to stuff all this stuff I can't use right now into a chest. Alright, uh, yes, uh... Yeah, cleared out. Probably... T okay, okay. Okay, board that up for now. And my silver pickaxe is about to die. Wow, now there's a lot of mobs. Ha, huh. looks like a... Looks like I chose to settle down just in time. My gosh. Alright, so I'm just going to make a small room. And, uh, yeah, just do all this out so I have a place to call it home while I can rehab the other location. Because I noticed I had a couple of uh, wood types that I do not happen to have, so... It's definitely going to be a while before I can completely restore it. In the meantime, I still need a place to live, so... Just gonna hollow out a man cave. No shame in doing that, is there? Because really, if you got nowhere else to go, you might as well dig yourself into a hole. That was a nice rhyme. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just gonna hopefully not encounter that cave that seems to be really close by. And, uh, coal is good to get. Especially when you have mods, and I definitely know why I have mods. Because with coal, you can uh, run generators, and you can make nano armor, and there's some amber bank bearing stone again. Uh huh. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Normally, I'm against filling bl filling in in this manner, but oh well. It's not like I have the materials to do it any better. Oh. Pff. Looks like Desmo has had his third death. Ha! <laughs> and I've only died once. Wow, oops, indeed. Ah. 
I nearly fell into several, indeed. And, uh... So, yes, all my wooden planks are in here. It's gonna make a door. Doors are a nice thing to have. Just because it's a random hole in the ground doesn't mean it doesn't deserve to have a door. And, uh, furnace. Also, something nifty I learned about crafting tables, you can actually craft them into crafting stations. And, uh, when you do that, and you try to make a recipe, like, let's say I was short one piece of coal and I want to make a coal block, I could just go to the chest and just, uh, pull the coal out, and then, bam, the recipe is still there. If it loads, jeez. So, basically how, uh, the Buildcraft, uh, automatic tables used to work. They don't work that way anymore from what I know. And, uh, the reason I was getting excited over the quartz is that I already know that there is a really good recipe involving quartz that, uh, is basically a macerator without being a macerator, so... Yeah, let's, uh, I'm not, I don't even know what I'm making anymore. I'm making a gear. And you start off with a wooden gear, and I think you need to smelt some s stone into smooth stone before you can actually do this recipe, right? Also, I'm going to make that a double chest, because double chests are better. So, uh, I forget the actual recipe. Let's look that up together. So, of course, you can make quartz tools, but I'm really after the grindstone. Grindstone is a bunch of stone, a bit of cobblestone, and then three quartz. Basically, if I do that, then I can uh, smelt up some smooth stone. Also, crafting stations can access chests. I kind of forgot about that. Also, let's sort that. Because I'm mostly DM like them be, to be sorted like that. Alright, so I got most of the recipe. I'm just missing all the smooth stone. So I can go back to my furnace. And then when this furnace finishes cooking up all the smooth stone, then I can just pull that right out and uh, plop it into the recipe, like so. And bam, quartz grindstone. Also, I should probably make a second furnace since I have a lot of cobblestone now. Not saying that I won't have more in the future, because I most definitely will, but... Yeah, let's grab the iron out of that chest, and let's make a... Make a wooden crank. Now, the unfortunate thing about the grindstone is that you need to manually power it. But... But also another disadvantage is that you don't exactly double your ores, like you get a 90% chance to double your ores, which is still damn good, so... Yeah, uh, let me just, uh, sit here and grind this until, uh, until I can get all the iron dust I want. And BAM! After spinning that crank right round like a record baby, I got 28 iron dust. So I didn't get full 30 I would have gotten out of 15 iron ore if I had just, uh, put it through a machine, but since I don't have access to machines yet and won't for a while, this is a nice alternative. So, yeah. <laughs> like 28 iron right off the bat. That's really nice. Really nice. Like, you don't even know how nice that is until you've played it for yourself. Now, the, the disadvantage is, is it does take like, it did take, take like three minutes to process that. It's a good way to wait out the night, I must say that, but... Yeah. So now I've got 28 iron. Also, that did not burn as long as I thought it would. Yeah, wood. Uh, yeah. Let's see, will that, will that hold it over? I like being really precise with the amount of fuel I use. So, speaking of which... Oh. I think if you, uh... If you smelt this... Oh, but yeah, if you get if you turn that into sugar and then smelt it, you get sugar charcoal, which burns for uh, eight times as long as sugar cane does. So I think I'm going to do that right after I get this burning again. Oh, it kept the progress. Interesting. Oh my gosh, there's a creeper, like, right... Uh, uh, where is that creeper? I'm scared now. Alright, let's make a run for it! Oh, he's not even here. Where are all those enemies? I'm really concerned. Huh. Alright, um... 
Let's mark this area so I know that I am living here at the moment. Let's see, uh, how is that for the lighting? Uh, that's good. Yeah, if you press F7, any eye draws those little lines that show where hostile mobs can spawn, and that's quite useful if you're like me and like to be efficient with your torch usage. And also, let's fill in that little thing right here. That's going to wear out its welcome in no time flat. Anyway, so yeah, there's something over there, and I'm kind of scared of it, so... Yeah. Oh, first off, let's get this tree. This is a really funky looking tree, but I think I'm going to love it. Anyway, uh... Let's see... Mm, mahogany! Mahogany, mahogany. Awesome. What kind of... What the color are the planks? Pink. Okay, I'll do. I mean, the log itself looks nice. I don't think I'm particularly complaining about plink, pink planks. Oh, hello, volcano. I just saw it on the minimap. Seasonal forest. That's nice, I guess. Uh, yeah. Hello, volcano. That's nice. It looks like I got a spot to find some lava. Like, uh... Like, really local. Which will be nice for Tinker's Construct, I guess, because that does need lava. So it'd be nice to have a good lava source like this nearby. And, uh... Yeah, there's a giant ocean out there. Other sheep down there. And, uh... Yeah, let's just head back over here. Still a bit in shock about all the stuff that just transpired a couple episodes ago, but... What you gonna do? It's 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 freaking Minecraft and pigs. Oh, pigs! You and I have a long history. Uh, come on, just give it up. You know you knew it was coming the second I walked in. Oh, whoa! If uh, okay, another big oil spot, and that one's closer, so I'm probably gonna go for that one first. Finding some good stuff in this place. At least, if the stuff I'm finding is even still good. Because sometimes I don't entirely know. Like, uh... Come on, get up. Yeah, my frame rate is not exactly ideal right now. I should probably get on fixing that soon, but, uh... Can't be bothered. I'm sure it looks good enough for you guys. Not that I'm saying you guys are suckers for low frame rates or anything, but... Yeah. Okay, I think I will loop back and check out that uh, wasteland-looking area. Might not even be a wasteland. I might, I might be just totally judging it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm prejudiced against wastelands, apparently, but... Really, what's there to be desired from wastelands? Other than just a really bleak environment to put your quarries in. Speaking of quarries, I wonder what automated mining options there are. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure that Buildcraft is still a thing. It's been a thing for a long time, so... Oh, and there went the rain again. I'm really curious about why that's happening. I mean, I'm sure Desmo's loving it, considering how much he hates rain. But, oh, is there a cave down there? Oh, no, that's just oil. Alright, so... I should head back before heading back over to that wasteland. And I should make a bed and sleep in it so that if I happen to die... Ouch. What? Those things hurt you now? Aww. Awful. Anyway, uh, yeah. Back to the hovel to make a bed. Okay, quick update. I just found some saltpeter. That's kind of good. Uh, I'll be back to mine that later, though. Back to the hovel. Alright, I was almost back to the hovel, and then I noticed this huge-ass chunk air! It's a whole strip of chunk air, it's a slice into that house, even. I hope this isn't a regular occurrence. I really hope it isn't. Because that would be terrible. Also, lots of zombies, apparently. Anyway, I know my hovel's right over here. And, oh gosh, there's probably mobs patrolling it everywhere. Uh, got the sapling. All right, uh, ah, okay, okay. Oh, ow! Ow! Get in the hovel. Okay, okay. 
And great, now I probably won't be able to sleep because they're all hoarding by my door. Including a creeper. That's going to be fun to deal with in the morning. Oh well. Looks like they're having a freaking rave party out there. Screw them though, I can make a bed. Although I can't sleep while they're right there, so... Oh, darn it. Um... Now, there's a lot of monsters nearby, and I can't rest. Damn you all! Ah. Anyway, sugar or charcoal. I forget how many items is capable of smelting at a time. I think it's only like four. No, it's actually two. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Maybe that's not worth it after all. But yeah, also I got a lot of iron. I can make a full set of iron armor, but I don't want to do that. What I do want to do is make a bucket. And uh, put away my milk drops. Also, I found raspberry bushes. So, I don't know how good these are. Uh, let me gonna toss the bush in there for now and uh, probably my extra cobblestone. I wonder how good these are. I'm not exactly hungry. Can I still eat them? Oh, I can still eat them even when I'm full. Okay. Uh, so yeah, my, uh, my pickaxe is dying, so I should probably repair it. Also, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to skip the night anyway because Desmo's still all nine, but eh, uh, eh. Yeah. Oh well. Let's make another stone pickaxe. Also, why not make some more charcoal? Or, not charcoal, torches. Because I kind of need torches. Is it all clear? Yes. Alright, at least I set my spawn point. Mm. I do not want to bum rush out there and lose all my levels due to death. Oh, and I do not want to open the door preemptively either. I'm going to keep all my steaks in there and just eat the pork chops, because I have more steak than pork chops. I do not want to be traveling at night. I guess this is a good point to go mining, then. Why don't more people make their mine shafts like this? If you hold shift, then you won't drop down when you dig. And it's slower to do it this way, but uh, heck, it allows you to just dig a straight hole down. And that's really convenient. So I decided I'm going to do it against this wall. So yeah, uh, what time is it? Still night time. That's not what I wanted to do. But let's do that. I can hold shift to stay on the ladder. And then I can just dig out the blocks underneath me. Oh, I found the cave. Okay, I'm prepared for the worst. Well, at least I found the cave. Huh. I'm not usually the biggest fan of caving. Especially when there's monsters. Mon oh, that's... Oh, that doesn't look good. Fallen Knight! What? Oh, there's a rain. There's one that's shooting arrows. Uh... I'm, I think I'm getting a lag. Because the lighting is not updating. And now it's- oh my gosh! What the hell? Friggin' lag? Uh, I'm not gonna be able to defeat that thing without a sword of some kind, so... Uh, gosh darn it. That was not a fair death. Oh, it's not even here anymore. There's another unarmed skeleton. There's things coming at me from everywhere. Alright, let's light this place up a little bit so I don't die again in the, in mis in the midst of uh, trying to get my items back. Oh my gosh, why do you keep scaling from these... Why do you keep spawning from these freaking graves? Stop it! Man, that's annoying. Okay. Yeah, it took quite a beating out of my armor, jeez. Uh, 
shouldn't have taken that down with me. Uh, yeah. So, I get organized again. Alright. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, there he is. How'd you get all the way over there, my friend? Alright, let's see. Yeah. So, I think that's a wrap on the second episode. I've got some progress made today. I mean, I got myself a steam engine that I didn't make myself, and I don't have any machines to power with it, because I did not find redstone in that cave, because I didn't go deep enough. And, uh, oh my gosh, miniature red heart, I need that. Uh, screw the wheat. And, yeah. Oh, and there's the rain again. Anyway, you'll see what I can do. Oh. Apparently that's not good for spiders. Ugh. Okay, s uh, stop cutting out my outro, you guys. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'm gonna dash into here, shut the door, go to bed. And, uh, yeah. So I will see you guys in the next episode where we can actually put some of the stuff I've obtained to use. We're gonna build a smeltery, I'm gonna equip my helmet, figure out what I can do with this miniature red heart. Actually, I don't think we can get to that for quite some time, but, yeah, you know general stuff. I am completely out of space in this chest, and I will see you guys next time!